All right, yeah, today uh, I'm gonna be doing a little video on um, electrolysis. It's, uh, it's a way how to clean rust off of ax heads. And um, kinda just wanted to show you guys the process and how it works. I don't, I don't use this process on all of them. Basically, it's something I do when I get something that's really rusted and uh, it ends up turning out looking like that. So, kind of wanted just to show you guys the process. Um, and yeah, so anybody that subscribed, thanks. Um, thanks for continuing to keep watching. And um, I got some stuff coming up for people that are subscribed. And uh, I got some free stuff coming up. I'll, I'll be having some stuff coming up that targets my subscribers. So, um, yeah, and then if you make it to the end of this video, I got a, a, I got a new saw I want to show you guys. Um, I'm going to show it at the, at the end of this video and uh, talk a little bit about it, what I'm going to use it primarily for, what's been done to it. And uh, so, yeah, stick around. Thanks. Yeah, I just wanted to get on here real quick and uh, show you guys what I'm doing today. Uh, no tree work today, so I'm in the shop. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys uh, one the one way that I clean my axe heads. Basically, uh, get the rust off them. Uh, it's called electrolysis. Um, I got this tank here that has water in it and a battery charger, and uh, basically. This stuff right here, these saw blades are, they call it sacrifice metal. And, uh, and then I'll hang, I put the ax heads on there. And uh, so this time I'm, I'm gonna clean an ax head and I'm gonna clean these vice grips. They're all rusted. So basically I put them on these hooks. and make sure they're submerged all the way in the water. Here, I'll, I'll bring you guys over and show you. So this is kind of what it looks like. It's just like a tote from Walmart. And uh, this is like a grounding stake that I used. Um, and then these saw blades are the sacrifice metal. And basically what it does, it runs electricity through the water and uh, it runs it through the ax heads. And uh, a lot of the rust comes off and sticks to these. And uh, basically that's how it works. I got the positive hooked up right here. I got the negative hooked up right here. And I got a big, powerful uh, battery charger. I put it on 24 volts. So I'm gonna fire this thing up, and I'm gonna put the camera in a spot where you can see how see how it works and what it does. Okay, here we go. I got it plugged in. Got my battery charger all ready to go. Uh, this one has a timer on it, so I just turned. The timer all the way up and uh, usually it takes depending on what's in there depends on how long you're gonna run it uh, this is 135 minutes so it's on right now and you can see it starting to bubble you can see it starting to work and uh, you're supposed to put Arm and Hammer Super Washing Soda. Not baking soda, it's washing soda. So every time I'll sprinkle some in here. Probably about that much. And it's running, so I'll run it for probably I'll let the timer run out and then I'll come and I'll check them 
and sometimes depending on what it looks like I'll run it again but uh I'll show you guys hopefully you can see that you can see it like bubbling that's it working this one this one's bubbling up a lot more probably because it has a lot more stuff on it so I'm gonna put it on time-lapse for a minute and then I'll show you when they're done all right here we go um, let's see they've been they've only been in there about 45 minutes I couldn't I'm impatient so I'm gonna I'm gonna check them at 45 minutes yeah, it's probably enough all right so it doesn't the first time I did this was like a trial and error thing and uh, I kept thinking that it wasn't working because I was pulling them out and they weren't all shiny clean you know well basically what it does is it loosens up all that stuff all the rust and dirt and whatever's on it it loosens it all up and then you take it over to the wire wheel and uh, and you know sand it down with the wire wheel and it pulls all that stuff off uh, really easily so I'll show you that process so this is I mean it doesn't look much different you know but so you can see it's starting to come all the way off right there but once you hit it with the wire wheel you'll see the difference I'm not gonna wire wheel the whole thing right now. I'm just gonna do part of it to, sh to show you. Like where I'm gonna wire wheel where the emblems are. You can see you can see what it does it loosens up all the rust and dirt and stuff and then you wire wheel and it just takes all of it off these are an old pair of vice grips so I'll do a little bit on the axe head now did half of it and it gets it all real nice and shiny I feel like it's a, a better look than if you do vinegar if you soak them in vinegar uh, I feel like the vinegar does too much like it'll it'll eat down in the pitting and the look isn't that great and I, I don't do this to all the axe heads I only do this to like really rusty ones when I'm going for a certain look. A lot of times when I get an axe head and it's in pretty decent shape and it's not super rusty, I just come over here to the wire wheel and and, and rub it down with the wire wheel and call it good. But um, So yeah, that, that's the process of uh, electrolysis. If you guys have any questions um, on how I built it or what to use or or whatever, just uh, comment down below. So thanks for watching. All right, here it is. I got a. This is a MS two sixty one C. Um, this saw I I won in a raffle at uh, Lewis Power Equipment here in Grants Pass. Um, 
Yeah, I was in there one day and I seen they had a raffle going. I threw in 20 bucks and they called me and said that I won. So I'm not sure how much these go for. They're probably, it's a pro saw, so I don't know. I'm assuming probably six or $700 saw. Uh, it was free to me and I really appreciate it. Um, Lewis Power Equipment and Grants Pass, they're awesome. If you guys are ever down this way or you live here in town and you need any saw parts or saws or anything, hit them up. Uh, and then, so when I got it, um, I decided to have it built. So I sent it down to California. Um, I sent it down to uh, Wildwood Chainsaw down in Fortuna, California. Um, Scott Mathis built it. Um, I, I grew up down there. I went to school with Scott. He's a good guy. Uh, yeah, it's Wildwood Saw, Fortuna, California. Um, so it's been ported. Um, the cylinder's been decked. Uh, put some dogs on there. And it has uh, some exhaust ports on it too. So it's a built saw and um, it, normally I don't use like a mid-size saw. Usually I just run uh, a 200T and a 500I is, is all I really need to uh, pretty much accomplish anything. Um, and I like traveling around with only two saws. You know, I, I used to run a 200, 461 and a 660 and um, it's, it gets to be kind of a lot uh, lugging three saws around, especially if you're, you know, sharing a gearbox with two other people. And um, so I went to two saws, and uh, I, I never really ran a mid-size saw, and um, but I won this one, so uh, I'm gonna start running it. Uh, I wanted to put a full wrap bar on it, and I've seen guys that have them with the full wrap bar but I'm pretty sure it's like a 441 bar or a 440 bar that they had to modify on there and uh, I don't know how how those will hold up or if it's even worth it you know um, I was thinking this saw would be a good um, a good saw for crane jobs because um, you don't need a full wrap bar to do crane picks, you know. Um, you might be able to get into tighter spots and stuff without it. And uh, it's bigger than a 200T. I mean, it's, I think that's a 25 inch bar. It might be a, it might be a 20, but uh, over here we can check right now. Yeah, it's a 20. It's a 20 inch bar. Full comp chain. Um, I haven't ran a full comp chain in a long time. But, uh, so yeah, my, my intentions are to use it for crane jobs. And uh, we'll see how it works out. I'm pretty excited about it. So let me know what you guys think. If you ever ran a 261, let me know. Um, yeah, you'll probably see it and some videos coming up. I'm pretty anxious to use it, so I'm probably gonna end up using it before I get to a crane job, but uh, the first chance I get to use it, I'll show you guys. So thanks for watching. Um, yeah, like and subscribe and all that stuff if you want to. All right, thanks.